his instrument. <laughs> hey, I'm the most privileged woman in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> in whole Canada. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, no, have, no, no. No, really and truly to, to come home so often and uh, things that Rolf just automatically <clears throat> knows where I'm coming in and there's music in the house. How many places right. how many place you play in Rolf? Uh, where where are your place? Uh, only maybe a couple of times a year for for wine winery. Usually uh, in October they want me to play, <laughs> and I play four hours. You know. <laughs> you start uh, playing what age? You you. Oh, uh, old, not, eight. Uh, eight. Eight years old. Yeah. Eight years old. Could you could you tell us about this instrument? What kind of instrument is it? And what the name of this instrument? And who well, it's, called the producer. it's called the zither, Z-I-T-H-E-R, and it has 42 strings, and uh, the, the keyboard plays the melody, and then the the, uh, the chords here, and then the bass, and then the contrabass. So that's how we play it, and it's tuned in fifths, so it goes like. How many people play right now? In Germany yeah. or I, I don't think you can get a hundred. Hundred. It's a very <laughs> rare instrument right now. Yeah, it is. Um, it's only maybe a handful in Canada that play. Is it uh, what part of Germany is it instrument? It's oh, this really comes from uh, Nuremberg. Uh, the 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 one that made it is is dead already. You know, he died a few years ago, and I have three more at home. One is an, a really old one, it's over 100 years old. Uh, that was also made in Germany and then I have one that was made in, in Austria in uh, 69. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I play mostly this one here and the very old one. I took that one to Ecuador and um, to Germany. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's a smaller one that uh, fits in the backpack. And, uh, that's a good sound too. Uh, can you play something else? I started playing when I was eight. And I, 
my mother came one day and, and brought an old little zither and I said, well, you're going to learn how to play this, you know. So I, uh, I saw a lot of strings and I didn't know how to uh, to manage them. So, but there was a la an older lady in uh, about six kilometers from where we lived. So I had to, every Monday I had to take the bicycle. And it was a, a male bicycle, and I was was only eight years old. So the way I rode it is, uh, the, you know, the the uh, the bar that is across. Mm -hmm. You know, I went under it and <laughs> and over. It sort of looked like a like a, a question mark, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I drove the six kilometers with a, a zither in the back, on the back carrier, and so that that was a, a procedure, you know, and. Um, so I didn't like it that much, but I I went every Monday night, uh, Monday afternoon, and when my mother died, then uh, my grandfather, who was a professional musician, he paid for the lessons. So I took lessons till I was mm, about uh, fourteen, you know. So uh, after that, I didn't play that much, and when I I uh, had more time when I was in the police uh, training camp. Uh, uh, then I picked up some again, and, and then coming over here to Canada, uh, that helped a lot to, you know, uh, to play and, and improve myself. And so I learned. Learned in the meantime, I learned a few uh, zither, good zither players uh, to know, and, and uh, I picked up from them too. And uh, so there's one in in uh, jazz in uh, Banff. Uh, that is probably one of the best in the world. The place Zither and I, I, um, I met him several times, and he sends me some uh, um, uh, CDs sometimes, and I, I play the the melodies from him. Or now on on the internet, you can also get some some uh, uh, YouTube um, with um, Zither's uh, good players, you know. And uh, there's a couple of them that are really good, and then some some of the melodies I played are uh, taken from from the internet that I learned. Mm -hmm. 